Hi everyone, this is Mr. Penny. I'm the librarian at Lawrence Road Middle School and I wanted to share with you a couple of important things that we need to know about the district iPads. The first difference is that when looking for new apps to install onto the iPad, we may not go to the App Store. I know that's what we're all used to from our own personal iPads and iPhones. However, it will not work on a district device. Instead, the district has created their own app called Self Service. You can think of it like the App Store for our district. This is a district iPad, and as you can see, there are a few apps already on the home screen, but the one that I want to point your attention to is this one right here, Self Service. When we click it, it brings us to a place where we can scroll through and see all of the apps that are listed in alphabetical order. These are all the apps that the district either pays for or has a subscription to, and they are free and available for us to download. So what you would look for, I have already installed a lot of these, you're going to look for um, an icon that simply says install. And if it's an app that you would like to add to your iPad, you would click install from here inside self service. The very first app I think you should install is this one right here, Clever. You're probably wondering what Clever is. It is a really helpful app because we no longer have to remember all the usernames and passwords for all the different programs that we might use here in Uniondale. Instead, we can log into Clever once and once inside, we will see all of the apps that our district provides and we won't have to log into them. So the one-time login for Clever is your network login. It's exactly what's listed in PowerSchool, so you can double check with your teacher if you're not sure what it is. It usually follows the format of your first initial followed by your last name. For some people it's different. You may have a number in there if your last name is a common one. But for most people, it's going to look like the example on this screen, something like J. Smith. Your password is usually your initials in reverse, followed by four digits. When you're in Clever, the first time you log in, it's going to ask you to log in with a username and password, and you'll have to locate your school and sign in with that username and password that I mentioned. Once you do that, you'll have access to all of the apps and you won't have to log in over and over and over again. Other apps that you might want to go ahead and download from self-service are all of those Google apps. You click self-service and scroll down. Again, they're alphabetical. So as we get into the G's, we'll start to see ones that we, can that we know we're going to use all the time. Something like Gmail or Google Classroom, even Google Chrome. Uh, to use instead of Safari, Google Docs, Google Drive, Google Slides, all of those apps. If you choose to, you can click install or reinstall to update them and they will then show up on your home screen. Mine are right here. If you're using any of these Google apps, you're going to be asked to log in. Here in Uniondale, we have a district account you have to use that one. Otherwise, you won't be able to access things like Google Classroom and Google Meet for all your classes. Our username for Gmail begins with our username and is followed by a very long ending. You have to type it out exactly as you see it here on the screen. Your password is almost the same as in the previous screen, but this time you're gonna add your initials to the end. So if the letters were SJ at the beginning, they're going to be JS at the end. If you're ever asked to log in when using a Google app, this is the login that you will use. I hope this video was helpful as you get started using your district iPad. If you have any questions about any of the things mentioned in this video, please don't hesitate to reach out to your librarian at your school. Best of luck for an excellent 2020 school year.